Thank you so much. Welcome out to Lawrence. Thank you so much. My name is Elias Sassinger. Thank you for being here tonight. We really appreciate you tuning in from Star to Land, and most especially for you being here in person. Thank you all for being here in person. I want to introduce this incredible band. Uh, some of the best musicians I've ever played with, regardless of where I am across the world, they are truly the tops. Give it up for Mr. Mike Sailors on the trumpet tonight. Mike Sailors <clears throat> was in New York City for about 11, 12 years and uh, played with some of the best bands, toured the world playing jazz um, and is an incredible writer and arranger now teaching at the University of Texas. Uh, truly a fabulous musician. Mr. Mike Sailors, once again, everybody. <laughs> On the drums, the man is the top call musician around the state of Texas and beyond. He's uh, one of my favorite musicians. He's a beautiful cat. We were just talking about fishing before the gig because uh, I love to fish, and so does this guy. He's from Louisiana, so you know you, he loves them bugs and frogs. and. <laughs> But it, it, what an incredible drummer, just a supreme talent. Give it up for Mr. Daniel Dufour on the drums. Daniel Dufour. Yes. On the double bass. Uh, so fortunate to have him here tonight. He's about to hit the road with the Heartless Bastards. Incredible band from Austin, Texas. And he plays with everybody else in town, too. He's hard to get because he's one of the best bass players you'll ever hear about or know about. And we're so fortunate to have him here tonight. Give it up for the great Sam Pankey on the double bass, everybody. Sam Pankey. And on the piano, my good friend for many, 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 many years. He uh, helped produce my last three CDs. Um, he's an incredible producer, a writer, arranger, musician, all around great guy, uh, placed third, I think, in the Thelonious Monk piano competition when he was 18? 16. 16. 16 years old. So you know the man is a mighty, mighty talent right here in Austin, Texas. We're so fortunate to have the great Eddie Hobazal on the piano. Eddie Hobazal. Eddie Hobazal. And again, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Colin Shook. The proprietor of Monks. Give it up for Colin Shook, everyone. In a, in a year that's been kind of weird, uh, Colin has made lemonade out of lemons. And, uh, you know, just over 16 months ago when every musician across the world lost all of their gigs in a matter of a week, and was like, what the hell are we going to do? Colin was like, well, I've got these cameras, and I think I know how to do this streaming thing, so let me figure it out. And since then, not only has he provided a revenue stream for the local musicians here in Austin, but they've raised how much money now, Colin? So they've raised over $120,000. $120,000 with the Austin Jazz Society to distribute, yes, big round of applause, to, to musicians in need here in Austin who were out of work. So Colin Shook, thank you for your efforts. Come back and support this great venue. When, if you're online here watching this, I've got my Venmo, I've got my PayPal. <laughs> we do appreciate your, your tips. Thank you so much. All right, so... We started out, yeah, yeah, Mike Sailors, everybody. I, I actually haven't told anybody this, and thank you for letting me say this, but y'all know the housing market's like crazy here, right? I, Colin, I haven't even told you this, I don't think, but so um, me and my wife, we've been trying to buy a house here for like over a year and a half, and we finally just bought a house like two months ago, right? And it's been a whole ordeal, and... You know, Colin, just like Elias was saying, Colin was such a godsend to us because he gave us a place to play. You know, 
just I think everybody up here would agree, you know, this is work for us, but it's also a social thing for us. Like me and Elias were great friends, me and Daniel were great friends, all these cats were great friends. So when we're not working, we don't see our friends, so it's dark, right? Then we don't have any work, so it's extra dark. But Colin created a place for us to play, and the guy that in, ended up selling me my house, we weren't the highest bidder on our house, even though we bid like $100,000 over. But he picked us because he saw me on these monk streams. So like, the reason I even got my house is basically because of Colin Shook and this thing. So y'all give it up for him. Wow. We love music. So Colin, you get 3% of that or? <laughs> All right, enough yabbing, but we're happy to be here, like Mike says, in front of a real live audience playing music for you. And hopefully this little spike that we're experiencing will quickly go down. So Mike arranged this one. He's a great um, writer and arranger. And this tune is called Gypsy Blue.
Gypsy Blue, Sam Pankey on the bass, Mike Sailors on the trumpet, Eddie Hobzall on the piano. It's a tune by Tina Brooks, a great tenor player. All right, so you guys happy about being able to hear live music in person again? We are very happy to be able to play it for you and glad that you're here tonight and uh, helping us reconnect, you know, it's been kind of a crazy year not being able to go out as Mike mentioned you know um, part of playing music is being with your friends and not being able to see your friends uh, like all of you has been a has been a rough so it's kind of weird though because once you get vaccinated it's like well I'm, how do I do this again you know like so it's been an, an adjustment but a good one. Um, so, uh, hey, Colin, could I trouble you for a Modelo out of the cooler, sir? If you, did, if you guys didn't know, Colin is also a brilliant piano player and composer. He just had a show on the Long Center on their Good Vibes on Wednesday. And I think you can go to their website, right, Colin? the website for the Long Center and check out that live stream um, uh, on Good Vibes featuring the Colin Shook Quintet. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Colin does it all, man. He wanted to have a venue. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a tune now that uh, was recorded by Roy Hargrove, right? And um, uh, Roy Hargrove was an incredible trumpet player from the Fort Worth, Dallas area and really impacted the world, um, even as a young man coming out of the Dallas Arts Magnet program. Um, became kind of the torchbearer for jazz musicians uh, in the late 80s and the early 90s, and there's a whole generation of people like myself and, and Eddie and, and Mike that kind of followed his lead, similar to Wynton Marsalis, but Roy had a little bit of, I don't know, Texas soul in him that really was attractive um, and just spoke to a lot of us. So we're 
he, he passed away, unfortunately, I think two or two years or three years ago now. <clears throat> but, you know, he's he's in all of our hearts and, and minds for sure. So this is a tune by Pamela Watson that was recorded by Roy and transcribed by Mike. And this is called Once Forgotten.
That was a pretty tune, isn't it? Mike Sailors, Mike Sailors. Who can tell me what that instrument is he was playing? Flugelhorn. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. Is that what you play, young man? Flugelhorn, maybe someday? Someday, someday. all right. All right. <laughs> Flugelhorn, yes. Uh, it's a little bit different, a little warmer sound. Uh, great Clark Terry was a famous flugelhorn player, but Mike plays it beautifully. And uh, Once Forgotten is the name of that song. You know, uh, <clears throat> everybody up here is a band leader in their own right. They've got their own music out for sale, and so I encourage you to check out their websites, purchase their music. Um, if you're online streaming from around the world, please give to the cyber payment system <laughs> of your choice. That's uh, become, uh, you know, part of our lives now. So I've got Venmo and PayPal, and we do appreciate your contribution as we carry on through this crazy time of our pandemic. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do a tune now by the great Lee Morgan, speaking of trumpet players. And Lee Morgan is pr a genius. There's, there's no other way to, to say it, really. Uh, he came up playing with Dizzy Gillespie Big Band when he was in his teens and rocketed to superstardom and uh, was tragically gunned down by his ex-wife while he was playing a gig. Talk about a tragic jazz story. You know, I always wanted to be a jazz musician when I grew up, you know, and I was like, wow, they all had very tragic endings. I'm not sure that was such a wise career choice, but I always loved the mystery behind kind of the image, you know, and the cool suits and the slick hair and the cigarettes and the pretty ladies and the, and the exquisite mastery that they all demonstrated. And Lee Morgan was one of these guys that captured my imagination from a very young age. I grew up here in Austin. Um, I'm a unicorn. You don't see much of us running around these days. But uh, for those of you who may have remembered, Waterloo Records was on the south side of the river. And it was next to the Wendy's. I think there's an apartment complex there now. Fancy that. <laughs> But uh, I would go in there, and all they sold was records. And so I had my $12, which is what it cost to buy a vinyl record at that time. And I would flip through all the bins. And my first love was Miles Davis. And so I would find all the Miles records I could find. And I would flip them over, and I would read the liner notes. And I would look at the musicians that would be on those records. And I saw people like John Coltrane and Red Garland, Philly Joe Jones, Paul Chambers. And then I would go and find their records in the other bins. And that's how I discovered Lee Morgan and people like Joe Henderson. And really fell in love with this music, um, which hopefully you, you love as well. And it's really our mission up here to keep this music alive. So are you guys into it? I know that you are here. Thank you for being here tonight. Are you into it out there in the audience out there in Cyberland? Give me a thumbs up. Give us some fire emojis. Give us some saxophone emojis. Give us some dollars. Cheers to everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I wish you health. I wish you happiness. I wish you music. All right, here we go. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus by Lee Morgan. We're going to get some magic.
Eddie Hobazal, everybody. Eddie Hobazal on the piano. Hocus Pocus by Lee Morgan. That's some hard bop. You guys like hard bop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we like the hard bop, too. So who can tell me the name of the tune that Sam Pankey quoted in the middle of his solo? Oh, yes, sir. Joy Spring. Extra bonus points for who wrote that tune. Clifford Brown. This guy's an expert over here. You must be a jazz musician. You just like it. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. You're the singer from New York. No, I play trumpet. Oh, okay, cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks, man. So he, he's got to know that because Clifford Brown is a trumpet player. That's kind of a requirement to know Joy Spring by Clifford Brown. But we're still going to give you bonus points for that. Yeah, I like it. You guys are educated. Kev's having a fun time tonight here in the audience. Yeah. We're forgetting about our troubles. We're forgetting about all of those bills we have to pay. We're forgetting about the fact that I had to take two trips to the car dealer today. Boo. <laughs> had to run my daughter across town in the middle of traffic. And then work. Forget work. We like music, right? We like some booze and some music. And being with our friends. And uh, we got a couple more for you before we're going to say goodnight for this particular set. If you want to stick around and pay the cover charge again, we've, we've got uh, another set of music. We'd love to have you. Talk to our proprietor, Colin Shook. Give it up for Colin Shook, everybody. <laughs> Colin. Do you want to say a few words, Colin, or, yeah, you want to say a few things? It's traditionally, uh, it's within our milieu that we have Mr. Shook, the proprietor of the establishment, say a few things. Give it up for Colin. Come on, Colin, say a few things. Oh, you got your own microphone. I do. Yeah, because of the virus thing. Well, we're in Jay's Yeah, I know. Here, just use this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, one more time for Elias and this fantastic band. Um, it's my pleasure to be able to host all of you in uh, this venue tonight, uh, and so many musicians here. Elias alluded to the series we started during the pandemic. Uh, we were so lucky to find a space uh, just around the corner, but we streamed, I think, about 95 or 100 shows over there over the course of, uh, of about nine or 10 months. And I think our current count of shows since, I guess, June of last year is about 170 different concerts just like this. And uh, it's a real pleasure. Um, if you're here in the house and you haven't seen our YouTube channel, all of those shows are archived up there. If you're tuning in online, please do hit the subscribe button. Feel free to like this video. Same thing here on Facebook. Um, it really helps to spread the uh, amazing concert that we are uh, putting on here tonight out to more people who need to see it. Um, and I would like to give a message out to you guys about upcoming concerts. You can go to our website and sign up for our email list right there if you want to get uh, regular notifications in your email, but uh, two nights from now, we have the Kate Cortum Quartet. Uh, she's a fantastic singer from Houston, but she's been at the Miami uh, Frost School of Music, and she's playing with the quartet that night. And then uh, on Tuesday, Christian Wiggs, a fantastic singer and uh, presenter. He's got this thing called Off the Bandstand. He's been interviewing musicians since the pandemic started. He's starting to do those interviews here in the house, but he's also got a big band performance, a bunch of new tunes. I think there's gonna be 19 musicians on stage. That's on Tuesday night. The 7.30 p.m. Show, uh, show is sold out, uh, but we just added a 9.30 p.m. show, so if you wanna come see that, please come down to the studio. Uh, I'm trying to recall what Thursday and uh, Saturday and Sunday hold, but I think next week is the first time we have five shows in a row in a week, uh, not in a row, uh, five shows in a week. So we're really excited to be presenting so much amazing jazz here. Please uh, come back to see us here in the studio. 
subscribe online and go to Elias's PayPal and Venmo if you're out there and support this amazing band. Monksjazz.com. Thank you guys. Colin Shook, everyone. Thank you, Colin. And quite seriously, I mean, he, he built this from nothing and is now, you know, recognized by the Austin Chronicle and, and many others as one of the premier venues in town. Uh, and so, you know, kudos to Colin. And, and, and a good friend, too, and a brilliant piano player. He does it all. You know, I don't, you know, uh, there's lots of great things in store for Mr. Shook. All right, we've got two more songs for you. I, I wrote this next one. I wrote this from one for my friend Alejandro Escovedo. He invited me to play um, down at the at that Moody Theater uh, with the statue Willie out front. Uh, we did the United Sounds of Austin a few years ago, and uh, I like to say that Lucinda Williams opened up for us <laughs> that night. And uh, you know, Alejandro is a bit of a musicologist. He has an amazing record collection. He loves all kinds of music. Uh, great jazz collection. <clears throat> Hit me to some jazz that I never knew about. Uh, but he's a good friend of mine, and, and we were actually his backing band for a few years. But on this particular night, he, he required that I write a song in order for us to participate in this show. And at first I was like, uh, damn, okay, i got to write a song. Uh, but, but it really pushed me, you know, and so I sat down at the piano, and about two weeks later this one came out. And uh, I wrote it for him, Alejandro, but I also wrote it for the band. And I write it for you, the audience. And the, the title is For Being There. So thank you for being there. This is the title track of my most recent CD. Uh, I do have a website as well, elijazz.com. For now, I play every Monday night at the Continental Club Gallery. And the second Friday of every month at the Elephant Room. Hopefully. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, get your vaccinations, mask up, take care of yourself so we can get back to what we love to really do, okay? So this is for you guys. This is called For Being There.
You gotta go for some things sometimes, you know? You gotta take some chances. You know, that's what life is about. You can't just play it safe all the time. You know, play some stuff you don't know how to play or honk some squeaks out there. I don't know, you know, put it out there. See what happens, you know? Because sometimes the mistakes are the best parts, you know? When you're listening to records sometimes, you know, you say, he didn't play the right note there. Oh, that's okay though, because it's kind of hip. And it, it's about being a human being, you know? So we all make mistakes. We have to celebrate that stuff because uh, it's not perfect what we're going through. You know, Miles said a saying that I really like. And he said, he said, uh, he said, 90% is the attitude of the motherfucker, you know? <laughs> 90%. The other 10% is, okay, you can play the notes, whatever. But the attitude, I like that. You know? We got one more for you. Give it up for this incredible band. Eddie Hobazal on the piano, the great Eddie Hobazal. Have you heard a piano played like that before? I don't think so. Mr. Mike Sailors on the trumpet and the flugelhorn and arrangements. Amazing. Mike Sailors. Incredible. Mr. Daniel Dufour on the drums. Man, a barrage of sounds. Incredible sounds. And the great Sam Pankey on the double bass. Give it up for Sam Pankey. Sam Pankey. Yours truly, Elias Sasslinger on the saxophone. Thank you, Colin Shook, Monks Jazz. Thank you to our incredible live audience here. Thank you so much for coming out. We got one more. It's by the great Kenny Durham, who uh, spent some time in Austin, Texas from Fairfield, Texas, actually went to school here uh, before it was Houston Tillotson, um, but he, he went on to New York and became a world famous trumpet player. And this is one of his big hits. It's called Una Mas. Thank you for coming tonight. We're gonna say good night.
Thank you all. Have a great night. Mike Sailors, Daniel Dufour, Sam Pankey, Eddie Hobenzal, yours truly, Elias Aslinger. Thank you to Colin Shook, Monks Jacks. Thank you to all of you for being here tonight. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for coming out. We do appreciate it very much. Thank you.